The All Seeing Guys podcast is part of Britpod Scene, an independent network of uniquely British podcasts that's always growing. Check out BritpodScene.com or follow Britpod Scene on Twitter to find out more. Welcome to episode 101. I nearly forgot then. This is the morning after episode 100. <laughs> yep. We've not can, long uh, woken up after recording episode 100 last night. You'll have to excuse us for not being as energetic as we previously were. And uh, yeah, we're feeling the after effects of that hot sauce. <laughs> oh, my fucking insides. There is, there is fire and discomfort within the belly of Greg Armstrong today. It is a burning thing. It is a burning sensation. Yeah. And I'm feeling a bit groggy. But episode, in general, I I thought that was a great episode. I had a lot of fun. I had so much fun. I kind of wish we had recorded the 20 minutes half hour. We stopped and just died from that hot sauce. Yeah, there was a lot of uh, there was a lot of things said during that time. Uh, <laughs> I kept trying to I kept pouring hot water instead of cold by mistake, trying oh, to God, drinking yeah. it and be like, oh, it's hot. <laughs> I was all over the place. Oh, my face was my eyes were just streaming. I didn't even look at my face. I saw you get going in the bathroom looking at your face all red and sweaty. I was like, I don't want to know what I look like. You look you look great. I don't need to know what I look like. <laughs> you looked great. Yeah, it was uh... a <coughs> awesome fucking fun that was. That was. What a way to and Now we're in the cold it. reality of the Saturday. next morning. <laughs> I've had I've got a Tamagotchi with me and I've literally had this in my bag for like well, my mum gave it to me for Christmas or my birthday. It was your birthday. Randomly, she was like, oh, Indiana picked it and we were out. I was like, did she now? Uh-huh. It's like, <coughs> but it's literally an actual Tamagotchi. Yeah. I mean, not a real life animal. You, uh, but have, the, you the on, have you turned it on? Yet? No, I haven't. And jo- I think I've got to pull this tab out. Are you reading the instructions? Oh. Oh, there you go. Activated. I've got an egg. It's hard to see. Yeah. Well, it's the a little sh- old block. It's stuck a... Did you have a Tamagotchi as a no, kid? You my never friend, had one? My friend had one. I had... Nano Pet, I think, was the first one I had because Tamagotchis were hard to get, man. When they came yeah, out, they, they were. were hard to get, man. Yeah, they were super popular. They were fucking getting sold out everywhere. Mm-hmm. But now I'm not sure what I do now. There's three yeah, buttons. My friend, my friend had one. Oh, that's the time. I won't fuck around with the time now. I think you got to wait for it to hatch, mate. Yeah, it's it's, it's we'll, we'll keep you updated on the Tamagotchi. There's an egg at the moment. Ed's now Ed. Ed. Greg. <laughs> oh Jesus, it's happened again. This is going to go well. <laughs> Uh, Greg uh, is now in possession of a pet, it would appear. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I won't name them until they open because I don't know whether it would be a boy or a girl or gender neutral or I yeah. don't know what it's going to be. It could be a lamppost. <laughs> right. We'll have to fucking wait and see on that one. Did you just assume it's, it's it could be? No, it was <laughs> no a, I just assume it could be. Alleged... Did you just assume that I could be? Did you just assume, <laughs> Did you just assume that I could be? <sighs> it's none of your business, but I could be. What's, uh, what, what's, what's happening today? We're going to go to a bit of geese dropping first. Fantastic. Then we'll move on. Geese <laughs> dropping. Where, of course, we hear snippets of overheard conversation. Geese dropping. Having a listen. My Tamagotchi's hatch. That was a geese job, but it's hatched. Fucking it's, hell. It's a little bouncing ball with, um, I don't know. That's an egg, mate. Two eyes. That's not an egg. That's, a, it's, that's born now. It's bouncing around. Oh, yeah. That looks really familiar. It's bouncing around now. So now, I don't know now what, what? I don't know what any of these buttons do. He's got the instructions. Oh, he's there. got a ball. I've given it, I fed it. I just fed it. It's eating now. Oh, there you go. That's good. That's, yeah. So I fed it. So that should be all right. It'll probably do a poo soon. Just so like, just if, like I, its I, owner. I wonder if I can keep it, <laughs> if I can keep it alive for <laughs> one episode. Probably not. So not enough time. Geez, drop in. Right. I heard this one in the pub yesterday with Ed. Okay. There had been, I think a funeral would happen. There was a bunch of people down there. They were loud and annoying. Boisterous. But they were sat next to us and I heard one of them go, oh, wait a minute. I, I think it's, I don't know what's happening now. It looks like it's blowing a bubble gum. That's how it is. Anyway, I heard a guy say. It's sleeping, Greg. Oh, right. Okay. 
If he goes for you, I'll put him six feet under. Believe me, I'll smash his fucking skull in. Jesus Christ. Yep. You say you're at a funeral. No, they were, they were, they'd been to a funeral. Jesus. They were at the table next to us in the pub. If he goes for you. And I was just like, oh man, this guy shows up, he's going to kick off. We left. Oh, they were getting too much for us. Me and Edward, and that's quiet beer. It was yeah. too loud. <laughs> too loud of the old men. It's a Friday. Come yeah, on. We were sat outside, guys. surrounded by everyone. They'd hired the back of the pub out as well. This one, I heard an old guy in the news agent near work. Old boy talking to the guy behind the counter. Yeah. Never bought a paper in my life. All lies. They don't care about you. Never add. And it's real. It's true. <laughs> and it's though. not real. It's very true. Yeah. He's got it. He's, got, he's hit the nail on the head. He was definitely preaching in that shop. Yeah. Speaking of preaching, oh. I took Indiana to the park in Serbent, Balaclava Park, recently. And it Balaclava was, uh, Park? Yeah, it's the one down behind KFC. You know, like the road to KFC. Oh, yeah, 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 down yeah, there, yeah, there's yeah, a big yeah, park. Yeah. I took her there. And it was quite a busy day. It was sunny. And we were leaving. And I sat on this bench. Was this dude sat there with his glasses on. And he was shouting out to himself. I trust in you, eternal God. No mercy. And there's something about non-believers. He had headphones on. No. He wasn't singing. No, he wasn't <laughs> singing. No, he, he was like loudly hate praying. Jesus Christ. <laughs> like, that like, is, there's two types of people, isn't there? Like in, when it comes to religion, there are those that fear God and those that love him. And it's just the ones that fear him are the ones that you really got to watch out yeah, for. Yeah, he was definitely preaching some sort of uh, no mercy for non-believers. Jesus spiel. Christ. And I was like, oh, lovely day, sir. Yes. Smite you. With my eternal Jesus power. Fuck you and your sins. <laughs> Fuck your sins. Fuck your sins, bitch. <laughs> I'm a real. I'm, I'm real. out here. No, no, he Living wouldn't. my life. I don't think he sounded like that when he spoke. He sounded very evil. Fuck you and your sins. Not what a great thing to say to someone. I trust in you, almighty God. No mercy. And I was like, okay, he's in the park full of kids today running around. Yeah, at least he didn't have his dick out. No, he didn't have his dick out. That, that was holstered. That was I mean, you, you holstered. <laughs> <laughs> Put that away, mate. You don't need that. I don't know. I mean, religious, religious people in the street are quite funny, aren't they? Yeah, they are funny. I do prefer. I like the Korean ones in Kingston that are always there clapping and singing. And they carry They've got a the giant cross. cross. Yeah. yeah. But it's so weird. They go in for it, mate. They yeah, I see. Uh, there's always like some really polite ones at Wimbledon Station. Yeah, they usually are quite polite. There's yeah. usually ones at Rains Park singing, like a big group of them. <laughs> I want to join in sometimes. I told you about the time that I was approached by a group of um, churchgoers when I when I, uh, when yeah, I used yeah, to I work in Walton, this, yeah. <laughs> and they all like they all stood around me in a circle praying. <laughs> Jesus, mate, it was it was so awkward. On you. I don't know what they thought. I was just like I because I was just having a fag break. Huh, anyone we know. <laughs> that was bad. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I was having a fag break and a guy came up to me and then his mate came up to me and then they all came up to me and stood around he's, me. And he's, he's, he's engaged in conversation. <laughs> they Quick, prayed, they prayed out loud as well. They Can weren't just like girl. mumbling to themselves. Like around me, like some sort of protective wow. force field. Yeah, <laughs> their hands up. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. They're just like, please protect Joe on his way through his day. I was just like, mate, come on. I'll go back to work. Like, Please let the filling rooms not be a mess. <laughs> Please, God, can you just do this for Joe? Yeah. Make the tidy down be easy this evening. Oh, Make nobody walking at five minutes before closing and go, are you still open? And then start looking around. Eat my dicks. <laughs> Both of them. Are you still open? I've come in five minutes before clo closing to buy my whole new wardrobe. I don't miss that, you know. No, who does? <laughs> Why would you miss that? Oh, no, I, don't, I do not. That I do not. So, last week, we finally put out Time Vagina. We did. Washed up dick. Ritz Hope the second instalment from the, the Ritz and Dick saga. Oh, saga two. Is it saga yet? I suppose you need a third one to be a saga. I guess I don't know. so. Um, what am I thinking of? Um, it's out. I'm sure you well, Hopefully, you would have heard it by now. We need a name for our trilogy. I've just been referring to it as the Firsty trilogy, but it needs, it, it, it needs a name other than that, just because I know it's. Like the Cornetto trilogy. Yeah, yeah, the Cornetto needs, trilogy. Yeah, just because Firsty's been like, you know. A main plot point yeah, through, yeah, yeah. To, through, through them all. <laughs> through them, yeah. So Time Vagina is out. It was fucking a lot of work, believe it or not. You son of a... <laughs> Time Vagina! Yeah. <laughs> it was a lot no, of work. It has. I mean, you know, you don't just, you don't just write a script, do you? Like I did. <laughs> yeah. 
it just takes time. It does. Say that. It took about again, like, like the first one, about a year to make. But that wasn't us working on it every day for. A I year. feel like I feel like we've made this one in quicker time. In terms of meeting up and recording, we definitely we kind of recorded like five scenes, then didn't record it for like months. Yeah. And then we smashed all the end out in like you know. I think yeah, over the last sort of um, since the start of the new year, really, it feels like we've been we we sort of gave ourselves a bit more time. I think because we got we we done the gigs, got the gigs out of the way and stuff yeah, like that's that. It. Fucking the only thing we ever had to do was always record a podcast, but we sort of dedicated a bit more time to doing the scenes. We got ahead on the podcast. We recorded like a bunch yeah, of episodes. Yeah, absolutely. We well ahead. We did a bit of a bulk record and then sort of gave ourselves some time to do scenes and figure out what and fucking And I knew voices. some of these scenes were going to take fucking ages as well. Mate, it, but we fucking pulled it off though. Yeah, we fucking did. It was absolutely pulled fun. it off. Like, like the whole sort of like doing like multiple voices and shit in like scenes. But oh, like making, yeah, yeah, it, yeah, making yeah. each one sound fucking different. Yeah, trying to have conversations with ourselves was interesting. You, you've probably heard um, Tom and Ant being in it, playing Terms and Conditions. Dick Disturbance? Ah, oh, well, if it isn't Grimwood's former two hotshot lawyers, Terms and Conditions. We are still lawyers, Dick. Guys, I'm sorry <laughs> that I use your Yerkel voices, man. Oh, man. I but know, come but... on, you have to admit, it's, uh, like, as uh, like, because we listened, you, you played me the entire sort of footage. Let me just catch everyone up. So Tom and Ant from uh, Anywhere But Here podcast, we asked them to have a little cameo playing the lawyers that uh, we asked them meets to play, in, yeah, uh, Dick meets in the prison. We asked them to play, yeah, Terms and Conditions. Terms and Conditions. He was mentioned in the first one. They were mentioned in uh, Rise of the Moonwalkers. Yep. World building. That's all. I'm all That's about world building in mine. All about you, lay, you sow the seeds in the first always. episode. I always try and drop hints for what's coming up and other characters. But yeah, we asked them to do a short scene. So we, I just sent them the script for that scene. It was just like, just do it however you want. And they sent like, a 20 minute thing back of them kind of trying different, just various couple of different American accents and they were doing the line multiple times really good Like I had like six seven versions of each line yeah. and a couple of voices and all of them were great as well and right. as I was listening I actually was cutting out their American one and putting it in the, the scene as I was listening oh, that's good I grabbed that as I go and then I kind of built it for them in one of their American voices I was like that's, that's that then I've got all their bits and it wasn't until a little while later that I actually pressed play and it played a bit more the 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 order they said, yeah, me. yeah, and that right at the end, they did like the Cletus, like Yerkel oh, style God, voice so as a joke. But they did the scene sort of in like one southern... sit, like rather than do lines over and over again, they both just did the scene back and forth, yeah. And it flowed so well, I was like, Oh, I've got to use these ones, mate. This it was, so, it sounded so <laughs> Sorry, good because it was, I think, as well, I like Tom it was, say, I hope he doesn't use the Yerkel one. Sorry, that was mate. that was the funniest bit for me, it was right at the end of it, just like they're going to stitch us up a treat here, and it's just like, <laughs> but it wasn't, it's like, it's like it's not been done to stitch him up it was it was literally our favorite one yeah yeah yeah. and i think it's for me anyway it was it was the fact that it does sound sort of cartoony yeah it's yeah, that yeah sort of character cartoony yeah. sort of sound yeah, still per- noise, dude. yeah yeah <laughs> i love it <laughs> fucking well done Miss guys bacon. Thanks, that, man. thanks for t- <laughs> yeah <laughs> i really appreciate it sorry sorry we've used your least favorite or serious one <laughs> well, it was, it, but it was fucking serious guys thanks for fucking doing that man yeah man we only because we only we did a lot of the voices ourselves. So in the first one, we obviously had Lizzie in it as well. Hello, gentlemen. Yeah, we had and Lizzie. we had yeah. Ben We had as Ben well. as well. Uh, are we there? Well, send him in. Um, did we have anyone else? No, I think it was just Lizzie and Ben, wasn't Ed. it? Ed. No, no, no Ed, 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 Ed was there, in no. this one. Jack did the intro, of course. Jack did the intro. Ritz Cricker and Dick Disturbance. So we had more people in, but in the first one, because of time restraints with Lizzie, we couldn't get it finished so lizzie came and did her scene in the first one as um is it billy jean no not billy jean um she played annie are you okay no no no, and, no, no. she uh, played uh, dirty song. diana dirty diana and um when we have the whole big escape and we get we get away in the car we stopped there and didn't record for ages and lizzie was because of time couldn't get back to do it so i killed lizzie in the script i changed yeah it that's right because yeah. originally at the end, where Joe runs away with mayonnaise and is like, I'll kill you if I see you again. Mayonnaise. Yeah? Next time I see you, I'm going to fucking kill you. <laughs> it was meant to be with Dirty Diana. Yeah. And Dirty Diana was like, oh, I can't back for Grimwood. And Joe would be like, oh, I'll stop you. And then they go their separate ways. But instead, I switched it out for mayonnaise. And we hadn't cast anyone as mayonnaise. And it was taking ages. So <laughs> I voiced mayonnaise. Like last, yeah. it was literally like was, that's the only thing stopping it getting finished was someone playing mayonnaise. Yeah, we did it. We were like for a long time, we were just like, "What girls do we know <laughs> <laughs> that we actually would think think could do it?" Yeah, but everyone we knew 
all of because we were work, all did we like Friday Saturday night would be recording. Yeah, and so that would always like be because every week all the girls times. we knew worked in bars. Yeah, that's it. <laughs> so it's just like oh, they're all busier. All right, I'll do mayonnaise, and I guess. But we had to change the script a couple of times going through Rise of the Moonwalkers. This time round, there wasn't too. We didn't have to really. I wrote it with us doing voices in mind to speed the process along. Yeah. So I was like, right, I'm going to put loads more characters in that we can just voice. And then it wasn't until we sat down to record that I was like, oh, now I've got to think of voices. Yeah, yeah. Fucking tough. We man. do. I do. Yeah. We sort of went down. We sort of like we'd said about ones that we wanted to do. Would we were sort of just like it made sense because you'd come up. We'd come up like I. I wanted to be Quench Thirsty. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> oh, there they are. Women's very own heroes. Which quicker and get the scabbard. Quench Thirsty. Such a stupid That's name. So ridiculous. The names are fucking great in it. Uh, and then of course I I knew I was going to put ex Benedict in this one more because I loved him at the beginning of the first one. He's only in it in the intro. Yeah. Ex Benedict. I'm right on him. <laughs> Give it up, Ex Benedict! Never! He gets, yeah, in this, in this second one, he gets a much bigger role. Oh, yeah, he is. Yeah, he's I'm a, so glad as well, because it is, it is such a great voice, and it's such a, it's such a, it's so fun to like, watch him It does sound it. a bit different from the first one, because it was hard to keep up, man. Yeah, of course. It is fucking hard, so I did have to kind of lower his voice a bit. And... Not so fast! <laughs> Ex Benedict! <laughs> Get him, boys! It's hard to do it loads. Yeah. Saying like one line like just for you, detective, is fine. But then if I'm trying to be like, I went down the road and I saw a man, yeah, it gets fucked like instantly. A, if you've it gets got harder. like a lot of dialogue, it really is like a strain. Like, yeah, it instantly gets harder. Whereas with, with Ritz, it'd just be me just being like, thirsty. Yeah, yeah. Mayor Quinch, thirsty. Just gra gravelly voice. It was too late for me to think of a fucking voice for Dick because I just started <laughs> recording in my own voice. <laughs> Yeah, that's easy though. For for long, I figured, well, there's a lot of yeah, dialogue. Yeah, I mean, I figured, I figured. Well, Brit's fuck it. voice like, is not that no, not that inventive. Like, no, no, but I mean, it's you know, it's not your, do. it's not your saying like your no. like your actual talking voice. No, but then with Seabreeze, you just go a bit nasally with it, kind of just like yeah. Fucking, the mayor's up to his tits and shit. <laughs> we need that on a t-shirt. <laughs> what the mayor's up to his tits and shit? Yeah, and then fucking obviously at the end, pulling off his fucking ancestor, his fucking. Oh yes, bringing in, bringing in the, uh, the family just tree. Make it a bit more posher. I might have to do a shit, mate. I'm not gonna lie. Oh, Joe might have to go do a shit. This is yeah. exciting. Yeah. But right, we're jumping all over the place, though. I guess I can't believe this episode. I kind of wanted to do a bit of a companion episode to the radio play. Yeah. Because it's been, I say, such a momentous thing to do. I know it's people are like, but it's just a play about you talking about a vagina. It's actually very, very horrible. Uh, I don't care. When it comes to time vagina... It's not just a time... It's just like, not, it's not just a vagina, <laughs> sorry. It's, uh... When it comes to time vagina, it's so stupid to say, but it's been in my head for fucking years. Mm. Like, when I put up... This goes way back. When I put up, like, the first image that I made, you know, when I made of like, the actual Photoshop-style oh, yeah, yeah, one? Yeah. Uh, when I first put that up, like, a year ago, um, I remember someone who used to work with a Tommy Hilfiger messaged me and was like, oh, my God, I remember you talking about time vagina at work. Like, yeah, I remember that's where you did the first original drawing. That yeah, was like, I, well, I was down the fighting cock. So I was, I was at work and I kept, I don't know why I got the time vagina just popped in my head. Yeah. And I kept thinking, oh, it sounds like a really random, like trashy love novel you'd buy, <laughs> you'd buy at an airport. Yeah, like, yeah. So I tried to draw a cover like that. There was sketchy cover and I, we'd come, recently come up with Ritz and Dick. The we detective, had, yeah. Just, yeah. Just, just by doing our stupid name game. Um, so I drew them kind of like jumping out, flying out of a time vagina of like dinosaurs and a centurion. <laughs> and I like your thoughts of just like, okay, what, 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 what I can I, I remember from time? There, yeah, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, and fucking drew that. That's I was just it. like, That's it just kept it, it going. Centurions, I kept, I kept <laughs> dinosaurs and 9-11. There was something else too. I think it was airplanes or something. And I just kept, <laughs> It just never left. I kept and I kept thinking about a story in my head. Mm. And when we had the idea, where you, you were like, maybe we should just do because we were talking about doing a film, weren't we? Like filming it. On yeah, yeah, yeah. And we were talking about doing that for a while. And I wrote a script before we even decided what we were going to do with it. I started writing stuff down, like mm. a, like a ideas and stuff. I wrote that Game of Phones script, didn't I? <laughs> like, I wrote like an actual like movie That's right, sort yeah. of script for it. That was um, yeah, because it was. I remember bits of that as well because it was me trying to find. Ritz after he'd been egged by egg, yeah, eggs yeah, Benedict. Yeah, yeah. But I was also helping a girl with a, a fucking Phone mystery. A, like a, yeah, like a mystery about mobile phones. <laughs> it was really like, it, it had like a message to it. It was really weird. It was like a Saved by the Bell episode. <laughs> when we thought about doing the radio play, I was like, right, time vagina. But I was like, oh, we can't. I, 
I didn't want to go straight in with time for Jana because there's a lot of story to tell. Yeah. So I wrote M- M- Rise of the Moonwalkers first. Yeah. But you like you hinted at it as well. Like in you know it's it's mentioned within. Uh, oh yeah. That episode. In the, is in the intro with Jack. I yeah, mentioned yeah. that it opened before. World building. Saving the town from falling victim to centurion armies and dinosaurs when the time vagina opened. No, but even like the even like Quench Thirsty. Uh, yeah. sort of mentions it so oh, there's, yeah. there's like close to time there's, vagina. There's... we need more than just go get me a name well that's all you have you too close to time vagina there's like hints at it during it and they're just like what the fuck is a time vagina and then I knew full well the second one was going to be the time vagina yeah yeah I was like at last I'm now all these years later that silly drawing I'm now ready to write it into something yeah <laughs> yeah, gonna, yeah. It, became, be, it became so much more it's actually going to be something and it's fucking crazy that like my swan song if you like <laughs> <laughs> this is your uh what's that fucking uh beach boys album pet sounds oh yeah yeah this yeah. is your pet sounds <laughs> this is my pet sounds <laughs> oh, right, it really is and bringing up sounds i knew it had to sound so much different to the first one yeah it could, the last one was great but when i hear it back there's so many bits like, oh we could record that better now like there's so <laughs> yeah. many like this well, time it, around, like, we uh, spent a, I spent a lot more time sorting out how we we're going to record it so it would sound clearer. Like like everything we've done that is on an audio format, we've we've gotten better at it over yes. over time. <laughs> and I went and sourced so many fucking mate. I had like I've got folders in my Dropbox, just filled with like I've got like all a folder for each scene, <laughs> and then. In the folder for each scene, it was, in theory, all the sounds I would need. Yeah, yeah. So, so like so background. I didn't want us to record, then I had to go look for the sounds. So I spent all the time before we even recorded building all these sounds. Fucking the Time Vagina folder, mate, has so many fucking sounds in it. It's crazy, man. It's okay. so much going on in there. There's like 40-something tracks of audio. Jesus Christ. In the big Time Vagina finale on that. Really makes you think. Like, like so many. Because I mean, sounds. I've, I've, you've sent me like you, you sent me bits of it as you were doing it. Yeah. So like you, whatever we recorded that day, a, a few days later, you'd send it to me, just yeah. like, you know, this is what it sounds like, and uh, but you, yeah, you don't really think about the fucking like, like the multiple amount of layers that go oh, into yeah. it, like. Yeah. Because there is like there's sounds... scenes where there's like background music and there's like background audio or there's fucking you know a crowd noise yeah. or just fucking things like the sound of a drink being poured like it's just like there's there's a lot into it man so what's interesting maybe not interesting but what i find interesting is in, in rise of the moonwalkers i hadn't really figured out how to obtain sounds i needed yeah so a lot of it was just in like logic's sound effects bank yeah ah oh, forest noises oh walking and then i found that amazing website freesound.com which uh it's fucking it's free it's amazing they will prompt you to uh, give a donation well, you don't have to, <laughs> but it basically, it's kind of like, charity works. It's kind of like, you know, people put up like a photo gallery, you know, like Instagram. It's kind of like that, but audio of anything you can think of. Yeah. So I could be like, right, I need sounds of town, type in town. And there'll be like half an hour of someone just literally hit a record on their phone in like a middle of town. Like, and so all these sounds you want are fucking just there. Yeah. Um, this time or so, I could use audio blocks, which is uh, like a royalty free site that way you have to pay an account with. But there, I could get actual music. Yeah, yeah. Hence, so the music in Time Vagina is a lot more interesting than in Rise of the Moonwalkers because it was just the loops on Apple. Yeah. Whereas this time around, I could actually pick music, like movie music. Yeah, yeah. Oh, You've got, like, it's a much sort of bigger What a selection. fucking difference it made, man, to the fucking play, man. Hearing it with different music in there. I was worried it would be a repeat of Rise of the Moonwalkers with the same fucking sounds. But yeah, putting all that together... Fucking making the time for Jonah sound was just like I mix so many sounds together. But putting it all together and then making sure they all string along with oh man, it was And we had a panic in the middle of it because my laptop broke. Yeah. So the first five scenes we'd recorded, I had edited, but hadn't wasn't really hundred percent I was probably gonna tinker with them. Then my laptop fucking died and luckily I had them in Dropbox. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I always would have lost those scenes. Imagine that. So a bunch of those scenes were recorded fucking months in between from the uh, yeah we had a we had a big so. old we had a big old gap where we didn't do anything with it and then it was just like right this this not fucking make this last two years <laughs> like this isn't a fucking dice roller mixtape for this to can get this out and then fucking having to like make sure it made sense so that's my biggest fear that would have made it probably doesn't make sense but like fucking that actually told I think it does story. it's just fucking a bit weird <laughs> yeah it is a fucking it is a fucking bit weird but then yeah 
figuring out we're going we're figuring out a plan for what we're going to I think it's very I think it's very apt as well with the first episode being about like the like a Michael Jackson cult and there's, now there's like documentaries about oh, yeah, his, yeah, yeah. his pedophilia yeah, coming good, out good, again. good SEO I should be pushing that more actually hashtag <laughs> Michael Jackson <laughs> yeah dude hashtag Michael Jackson you all love pedos why don't you listen to his <laughs> fictional cult that we created about him <laughs> it literally is a fictional cult we'll probably see the moonwalkers again at some point yeah man but Perhaps uh, an origin story in uh, the third one. <laughs> <laughs> so, obviously, it ended with the whole we've gone back to Grimwood in 1882 and set up, obviously, the serial killer, the mosaic. Yeah. We'll figure out what's going on in the mosaic. But I've already written like half the third one. I'd I'm, say. Looking, I'm looking forward to going through like, that. I've probably written like half the third one already which is all set in 1882. Yeah. So it's going to be a bit more stripped back, a bit more detective-y. It's, our, uh, it's, it's definitely our Back to the Future 3. It is, is it? It's <laughs> still like that, yeah. But in like a Jack the Ripper setting. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, it kind of is there. They Victorian, Victorian Grimwood. That's it, man. And I kind of want to like finish this arc in this third one. And then going forward, we can just do little isolated... Yeah, we can just like... I was little... thinking we could do like mini ones... Like we could do like a little ten minute one just about the goons. Like <laughs> <laughs> that's so many goons. Yeah, but exactly. It'd just be them in a room. Yeah, It'd be yeah. like Reservoir Dogs or something. It'd just be them in a room talking for like ten we'll, minutes. Mate, we'll reenact. We'll reenact the uh, the opening scene of Reservoir Dogs My as God. the goons. That'd be taking like wanky wank to a whole new level. We could actually just reenact scenes as the radio play characters. Like a virgin. It's a metaphor, but big dicks. <laughs> Yeah, we could just reenact movie Wong. scenes. <laughs> we could finally do that bat one, that Batman one. Reservoir goons. <laughs> it's cold. It's supposed to be cold. It's versus water, sir. It's supposed to be cold. You shoot me in a dream, you better wake up and apologise. <laughs> yeah, we should definitely fucking do that, man. But yeah, do some little fucking skits with them. Yeah, absolutely. Just have a bit more fun. But I think we should do the uh, we should do a scene or we should do like a one where it's how Rick's, Rick and Ditt's <laughs> Go on, you can Dick do and it. Ritz met. Yeah, I could do that one. It could be like, like one of them. One. one of them was at, 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 like the academy. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. It will be like fucking one's like a bit of a nerd, and the other one's like the fuck. It'd be like Twenty Two Jump Street. Like. <laughs> <laughs> what up, Slim Shady? <laughs> fucking a. Yeah, no, we can do fucking anything we want, but get this third one done. Yeah, do this fucking arc. Arc. I make it sound so much more important and serious than it is, but it's, like, I generally am just so stoked with it. Yeah. Um, and fucking, I've heard it so many times while editing it, but still now I'm just like, oh, I want to go to the end where they fucking get attacked by a fucking I just T-Rex. So great, I killed Eggs Benedict with a T-Rex. Eggs, catch. What? An egg? Why would you give me Eggs Benedict a huge egg? That's because a T-Rex wanted to kill me when I was holding it. What? No! <laughs> Yeah, man. Well, that's how much fun I get to have doing it. We had a hell of a budget for I this one. To... <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. But I'm, I'm, I'm fucking glad it's done. I fucking love doing the fucking first one. And just like, uh, just sitting around and coming up with like voices and fucking how we're going to fucking say it. Doing fucking, uh, like, being in Barbara Bacon was fun. Oh, yeah, yeah. Based off of Monsters, Inc. Fucking... Don't forget to phone your paperwork. It was, it was that. There was a bit of Pat, Patty and Selma from Simpsons <laughs> yeah, in there as well. Yeah, 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 yeah. She was fucking hard to keep doing. Yeah, I mean, well, that's like a strain on your voice, isn't it? Yeah, that was it's like a wild, I mean, I know you were doing the whole kind of sort of gravelly voice for Ritz, but like, uh, that's a whole different fucking voice altogether. Especially like, having a conversation with yourself you, as it's, Ritz. It's like nasally, it's gravelly, it's just like, uh, like. So, dick. Ruined any more lives recently? Only my own. Ah, oh, poor dick. Doing that for lengthy fucking, you know, yeah. fucking bits of dialogue is going to take out we, we did most of it kind of like just as we went. So, so we were switching between voices. Yeah. I mean, obviously I'd, I'd ed- close them up and ed- edit it, make it a bit tighter. But we would be there having conversations with ourselves in different voices. Yeah. The only one we had to do separately was Eggs Benedict. Because I have his voice, then I have like a second layer with like an effect on it. Because like in my head, in the first one, he looks like old Batman, the old Batman TV series. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He? Like uh, he looks like the Riddler. Yeah, yeah, he looks like the Riddler. And in this scene, actually, funny enough, in this in the scene in the prison where we go to see Mayor Quench first, I fucking love that scene. Like yeah, when, it's great. When Dick goes and meets him, and then Ritz um, Egg storms the prison 
and you hear of the tannoy the we're after bear quench that, oh, yeah, that yeah, yeah. scene really reminds me of like the old Batman series sounds like you're about to meet your culprit we are here for the former Mayor Quench Firsty. <laughs> Stay out of our way and no one will get hurt. <laughs> like, it's such a Batman series moment. Like, like, Pow. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Bagel. But, then, <laughs> but this time round, I was picturing Eggs Benedict almost like Mr. F- Dr. Freeze in a fucking Batman. Yeah, album. yeah, yeah. I was picturing him more like that. <laughs> almost, uh, yeah. Sort of like, almost robotic, sort of. Yeah, yeah, a bit more to him this time. Yeah, like, he's yeah. a bit more, like, bit more meat on his bones. Yeah, he's, he's upgraded a bit. His fucking software, man, he looks a bit fucking more. He probably could fire eggs out of a cannon on he's his been, arm. Uh, he's been taking the yolk out of his eggs and yeah. just having pure protein. Like, <laughs> he could, like, yeah, like have like a cannon that fires eggs on his arm or something, or like on his shoulder, like Predator. Some, like, yeah, he's had like a complete upgrade. That's how I was kind of picture him this time. Um, but so I wanted to give his voice a bit of a fucking slight effects so yeah we had to record all him separately so that was interesting yeah having to like record ours first and then like wait as give me long enough to like pre-record fill in the gaps later on as they yeah 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 fuck man that was all that that was a lot more having to fucking sit down and edit but i fucking i really enjoyed fucking brick getting ex benedict on this one and then fucking killing him by fucking trying to saw his fucking rex yeah it's fun i just uh it, yeah in general it was fun because it is just like just sort of fantasy sort of thing, isn't it? Like, I mean, we look ridiculous still doing it. Nah, but you got you ain't got to think about that. I mean, do you think Tom Hanks looks cool fucking doing Woody's voice in Toy Story? I reckon he looks really. Tim cool. Allen must have been fucked on pills. <laughs> like, do you think that? Do you think? But do you think they're in there going like, oh, I look ridiculous doing this? No, like, no, 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 no. Getting paid millions. No. A word. I definitely got involved. Fucking. It was you got to, haven't you? I, I think like because we used to doing like dice roller stuff it, it felt like like when we first started recording we were like holding back yeah yeah really holding but back but you, you can't because then like I when we were doing bits like one of the, like, the last sort of few scenes we did and stuff there was a lot of sort of shouting and that yep. like proper went for it yeah 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 whereas yeah. like I, I sort of found at the beginning when I'm doing like uh, Dick Drunk in the Bar, I could have done that so much more. Just like, like when he's just like, no, no. Yeah, like, yeah, 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 yeah. I should have done that way louder. It should have been way, <laughs> just got, like, you just got to get into it. Because, I mean, the third one's going to be awesome now because we're fucking going to go for it. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Yeah. I like the opening to this one, though, with catching up with Dick fucking in the yeah, bar, yeah. fucking with Max Heights, and he's all fucked up. Like, fucking. Obviously, I was a bit. Orig- I wanted to start it with the asylum and eggs benedict mm. i wanted it to start there then have the intro then go into you at the bar but when i did it that way it just didn't sound right like nah. it had to be it had to be you at the bar as the opener like so that's why you know beginning of uh, rise of moonwalkers there was the action pack chase scene with fucking eggs yeah, Whereas yeah this time it started completely different rather than that big action scene it started with a very oh, somber yeah dick's fucked up and not handling ritz being gone for two years very well fucking and then fucking Seabreeze fucking shows up. But that fucking intro, man, I fucking, I love fucking when you're walking around outside and it's all echoing in your head yeah, and you're yeah, reacting yeah. it. And you it sounds tell, great. You can just tell you're, you're fucking a mess. Drunk and a fucking mess. And then your award-winning throwing up scene. Oh, Ritz! Oh, Ritz! No! Oh, I'll, I'll give you a sec. What was your kind of like favorite scene to do? Like in terms of like, like obviously in the end we're all shouting, but like, um, I think going to see Ritz in uh, oh, the supermarket in the supermarket's good. La 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 la, life's so good. Yeah, just the little <laughs> bits like that. I always liked. I was, uh, uh, yeah, no, that's a good one. Um, when, yeah, the having to do back and forth between myself and myself with uh, when Dick goes and sees Mayor Quinch Thirsty in oh, prison. Oh, God, I love that. That's my favourite bit, that scene. Dick disturbance as I live and breathe. Thirsty? When they say I had another visitor, you were the last person I was expecting to see. That was always good. Yeah, yeah. It's such a good fucking build. I really, but... I really, I think Quench Thirsty is one of my favourite voices to do. Oh yeah, he's it's just funny. like yeah, yeah. you can be just a, a, like the the obvious like corrupt <laughs> politician sort of thing. It's great. He's my uh, he's my mob boss. <laughs> he is man. Yeah, he is man. He's a he's a fucking kingpin. Yeah, I like that. Um, but you do his fucking voice fucking great though. Like fucking, he was one of our first characters we fucking came made up as well. That's yeah, that was one of the first like names. And that instantly we ever... was the mayor before we yeah. even had Grimwood name because Grimwood is actually named after George Grimwood who 
that runs the Podnose network. That's it. And it was your idea. Which I remember I started with. doing drawings for him. Was it? I was just. I remember I'd started like dr- I'd started to do drawings. Just like this is what I'm imagining this person looking like. Yeah. So before we did like the before we even started recording or doing like artwork, I yeah. was drawing the things. Just Potential like look, this characters. is what. What do you think? Is this what you like, reckon this person <laughs> yeah, yeah, looks yeah. like? I had like. Uh, Fucking Paddy Knuckles, and I'd, I'd draw near me. It was like I had an eye patch, really fat, weathers. like. Um, Quench Firsty looks like my old geography teacher, Mr. Pooley. <laughs> like, like that really, name really looks like Mr. Him. Pooley. I know, and he, at an all boys school as well, man. Jesus, he Dangerous must have game. got it. I don't, he seemed to do all right. He, I liked Mr. Pooley. Okay. But yeah, he looked like Mayor Quench Firsty. Really? Like, yeah, yeah, big time. That's awesome. I remember his trousers fell down once in class. <laughs> it wasn't anything that on, on the dodge, it generally was an accident. He was very embarrassed. He, he was a big Brilliant. guy. <laughs> Amazing. Oh, my trousers are falling down. I like your drawing of Seabreeze, man, because I didn't know how I pictured Seabreeze. You've done like a 1930s fucking cop. Like. I was, yeah, I was, looking at the, uh, I was looking at the artwork the other day, actually. It was, uh, I think it just popped up in my... Uh, because by now there will be artwork for Time Vagina, but Joe isn't drawn it at this point in time, so I'm very excited I to have, see. I've begun. I've begun. I feel like it's going to be very, very basic in comparison to the first <laughs> one, um, but I'll, I'll see if uh, what what I can throw in there. Speaking of the big finale of Time Vagina, we watched the uh, Spider Man into the Spider Verse last night. Oh God, that was so fucking. I, fun. I'd seen it a few times before because I generally enjoy the film. But uh, yeah, I said to Joe, we should it's watch really it. It's really good. We watched it after recording episode 100s when we were fucking recovering from the hot sauce and fucking just. Fucks. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Fucking sat down and watched that, and it was fucking awesome, man. But the end of that is like the sounds and stuff, man. I'm just like, it's that, yeah, no, it's very like. I mean, uh, luckily, I kind of already pulled all the sounds to make the time vagina ha- open in the in the play. Mm. But while I was editing it, was when I watched that into the Spider Verse, and I was definitely like, fuck, man, I could throw in a lot more sounds to make this yeah. sound a bit more like. I love the, the fucking the sounds and the colors. And fucking into the spider verse yeah especially at the end when they're firing the quantum accelerator oh it looks it amazing it looks so fucking good and i was like fuck, that's how i fucking picture the sounds like fucking. yeah so yeah that actually played a nice a nice little influence at the, <laughs> at the editing stages at the end i just remember nick cage in it he was really nick really cage funny fucking stole he's the so fucking funny thing. in it Real biscuit bucks. Yes. I mean, he's just looking at us. I mean, we're, yes. <laughs> I mean, we're talking obviously about Spider Man now and not radio play. Nick no. Cage wasn't in the radio play, but fucking the the animation in Spider Verse is fucking incredible, man. Oh, it's great. It's so good. It's, to I was look I was at. I really got into it. It's really it's a really fun movie. Yeah, fucking funny too, man. Yeah, yeah. Fucking give me budget. Let, let me do Ritz and Dick like that. Yeah, that'd be insane, right? Oh, I'd love to do a fucking Ritz and Dick cartoon. <laughs> Imagine that. Can you imagine? But like your style of artworks. Like, like so your artworks, the cartoon style. That'd be sick. It remind me of like the old Beano videos I had. As yeah, 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 man. But it would be ridiculous. It would either look like that or rhubarb and custard. <laughs> oh, fucking old rhubarb and custard. <laughs> <laughs> that man, that man, that. And then what was that dog Barney? Yeah, that's My nan's funny. spare room. That oh, we had Barney Bates the in. dinosaur. No, there was a dog called Barney. It looked, looked like the Durex, not Durex, they're the condom. <laughs> the, the paint, the dog they use for the paint. Oh, Dulux. Dulux, yeah, yeah, yeah. Durex. <laughs> Durex. <laughs> Durex. They have that dog with Dogs first, and Durex. <laughs> well, bestiality needs to be safe. Um, <laughs> there was a cartoon of so called Barney in my nan's spare room that we had our beds in it was done at all the duvet was like part of this cartoon oh really the dog and the I'm, trying, I'm trying to think what that is the borders you used to have around rooms like, yeah 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 you don't see much of those anymore but the borders around the top that's too much that, work that, that, that was Barney <laughs> Barney the dog yeah I think it went Barney Barney no well they're saying that made me think of Jumbo do you remember Jumbo was yeah it? I remember Jumbo Raggy Dolls Raggy Dolls do you remember what was that fucking Scottish cartoon all about the Loch Ness Monsters Oh my god, that rings a bell. Was it just called Loch Ness? That rings a bell. Yeah. Fuck. There's a bunch of them. Yeah. Or Nessie. Yeah, fucking hell, yeah. I think it was called Nessie, wasn't it? Something like that, yeah. Wow. Wow, that triggered a fucking cartoon. I get memory. called uh, I get called Grandad a lot of work now, uh, because uh, I make references that these mid twenty people don't fucking understand. It happens. Yeah. yeah I mentioned happens. vodka revolutions the other day and the girl looked at me just sort of like Oh, I was like, what? And she was like, they've been closed down for seven years. And I was just like, have they? Yeah, right. <laughs> have they? I was just like, what? And she was like, yeah, no, the one in Southampton. I was like, I don't know about that one. There's one in Richmond. Yeah. There was one in Richmond. There's remember, one in Clapham. I remember going to the one in Clapham when I met up with a mate and I didn't expect to go there. And I was like, we're going to go there. Didn't you but, stag do? But we, yeah. Part of your stag do. But we sat in there and just had like pizza. 
Weird. Like, because it was like a restaurant during the day. It was like, <laughs> weird. yeah, I didn't know. Like, it was weird. Oh, well. I Fair enough. It was a fucking weird experience, man. Fucking yeah. vodka re- revs. Vodka revs. Vodka revs. Vodka revs. I went to the, I remember going to the one in Richmond once and there was a, uh, man, there was just some hoe there. It was amazing. It was like, she was like proper, proper dancing. Like she was in a music video on this guy. Man. The guy was just standing there being a pole. <laughs> First one I went to, it was one in Richmond, but I don't remember much about what happened. No. Nah. I don't remember it being... I don't remember. I, I went with Lizzie. I just kind of started Lizzie. Went with, like, Hugo Boss. All the team went there for some reason. <laughs> like, <laughs> I don't Because it's, it's, it's weird, because, like, the one in Richmond, it's not quite a nightclub. No. But it's not it's quite... decorated a... like a front room. Like, yeah, it's very strange. That would always flood down there in Richmond. I remember... I remember there was... being in that white cross pub, and it flooded, man. You couldn't leave the pub. It was such a shame. There was... Um... <laughs> when we went there for Volker Rivers, it was uh, the uh, I think it was Brad's birthday. You know Brad and Martin's yeah, uh, yeah. husband, the Coopers. Yeah, the Coopers. Um, I think we were there, and uh, there was a bunch of their mates from the from the Richmond Arms there, and a few of them I sort of knew. And this one guy called Tom, I'd gone up to him and having a chat and stuff, and I'd previously seen a guy on my Facebook called Tom say just met Harry Redknapp whilst he was like the Spurs manager and stuff like that. And I just got my toms mixed up. Oh. So I said to this like gay guy, Tom, I was like, "Oh, didn't you meet Harry Redknapp recently?" And he was just like, "No." <laughs> <laughs> I was like, "Oh, <laughs> all right, fair enough." That's a weird conversation to have, isn't it? It was, yeah. And I was just like, "No, oh, okay, I'll, I'll, I'll not talk anymore." <laughs> <laughs> no, who, 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 who are you? Oh, who the, the old fuck is Harry ba- Redknapp? The old embarrassing Facebook mix-up. Yeah, that. But yeah. We seem to have gone completely away from the play. What were we talking about? Yeah, that's about? fine. That's fine. We were talking about vodka revs for a little bit. We were. <laughs> we can sidestep into vodka revs. Make a make a reference to that in the third uh, third play. It'll yeah. be the town's bar just called vodka revs or the ye, ye old vodka ye revs. Old vodka revs. Everyone's just like, what's vodka? <laughs> I should I should do a go to a pub and get drunk scene in 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 eighteen hundred. Oh yeah, absolutely. I should do that. I, I might put I might work that in there somehow. Maybe we just go to a bar and get blitzed on the fucking disgusting tasting booze. Yeah, yeah. And just like, what is this? Why is it being it'd be served like being to me? Being red in... dead when they get really drunk. Yeah, and, yeah. Uh, it'd be like that. We would just be go out but... of control. We we'll get into a fight outside. Like, <laughs> why is everything being served to me in a wooden cup? And we end up in, in, in like the cell block. Then they get in the cell the next morning. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Sleep it off, detectives. <laughs> <laughs> Looks like you two got yourselves into a right mischief last night. Oh my god, my head. Ugh. Jesus Christ, give me some smack. <laughs> give me some smack. <laughs> no, or as they I... called it in the 1800s, medicine. Medicine. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I won't make, I won't make Ritz a crackhead. I've already made him marry Ritz fucking and Mike crackhead. Stand. <laughs> Props to Ed, by the way, for inspiring us with the name Mike Stand. It was in, oh, right yeah. in our face, literally in our face the whole time. Yeah. And we never connected the dots. Nope. The dots at Mike Stand would be a good fucking name. I think we've got, we should try and use the rest of the names that we have. Yeah, man. I've got a few. Whenever I'm introducing a character, I literally go to the list of names and just pick one. Yeah. I don't even really think too much about it anymore. I just pick one like that, that one. Because I know there's like specific names that we're just like, okay, that's going to be for like a main character. Yeah. But then there's other sort of characters that you're a bit sort of like wishy washy about. You're just like, oh, you can just sort of like chuck that in there as a reference. Like, I'm trying to see where my. Um... Where, the, where the list is. Here it is. Yeah, so we actually have got some new ones on the, on the, on the list of names. Mm. Uh, it's great looking through and seeing the ones you mentioned. Bear Roadman. Yep. I like Barry Custard. Dickens Bottomley. <laughs> uh, we still haven't used my favorite. Emmanuel fav- Saucy. We still haven't used my favorite one that you came up with, Skip Breakfast. Oh, yeah. Skip Breakfast is fucking good, man. He sounds like a fucking little rebel, mate. I'm Skip Breakfast. He sounds like he'd be a rebel, like a bad boy. Yeah. Skip. Major Tongue. <laughs> Rose Hill Roundabout. <laughs> <laughs> Dennis Road. Still got Justin Aldi's. I like that one. Yeah, that's good. Fernando Scallops. <laughs> Eric Chives. <coughs> Kevin Ambience. <coughs> Colin Chops. I used that one on my horse in Red Dead. Colin Chops. Reese recently. God damn it, Reese recently. Reese recently, you son of a bitch. Bear Arms slash Bear Witness, but we do already got a bear. It's an, bear. an easy one to do as well. It's the bears. Captain Contribution. <laughs> Shelly Nickers. That's good. Courtney Bollocks. Courtney Bollocks is, bit, is bit, a massive, is a massive favourite. Billy Bob Bookshelf. <laughs> Donny Spatula, Rupert Coupon, Mr. Opportunity, the psychic. 
Leslie Cakes, Albert Stairs, Feel Better, Monsieur Moist, Warren What's It? <laughs> <laughs> Fucking hell, Paul Bearings, Uber Furman, the Uber driver. Oh, that's good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Amber, Amber Dawn, I don't know what that is. Philippa Glass, Clarence Chutney. <laughs> God, there's so many. Apricot Clemency. Chris, oh. Chris every now and again comes through with a good one. Toby confirmed. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like I came up with that one. Toby confirmed. <laughs> Toby confirmed. This sounds like, is Toby coming? Toby confirmed. Yeah. He, RS- confirmed. he RSVP'd. He did confirm. So we've still got <coughs> a lot of names to fucking work with and a lot of fucking story to play with. Yeah. Fucking... But it's been great fun. It has been a lot of fun. It's a different. It's, it's a little bit different, you know. It's, uh, you know... No one cares about the archers anymore. No. So like, <laughs> no one really does anything. There's no like, like I mean, in the podcast sort of. There's sense, a lot. There's, there's a lot of audio like... dramas and radio plays out there. Uh, Gamma Radio is one on Britpod scene with us. Like, they're fucking fucking amazing fucking episodes of doing it. But and there was the Monsoon Jackson episode recently, which was good. Shout yeah. out to that. Which was um, a friend of the guys from Anywhere But Here podcast. They had him on, and he was talking about this sort of like radio play he was rating. His is more kind of like a lot of narration and like telling the story, but for some audio and some music, it sounds really fucking nice. It's a cool futuristic Blade Runner esque oh, sort of cool. story. Um, and he's finished that and doing a series two. Whereas ours is a bit different because my ours is literally us. I'm basically trying to make a movie for ears. Is yeah, what yeah, I yeah. try to do with it. I'm trying to make a movie for ears that just fucking keeps going. Yeah. Hence, I have to make the story so like it doesn't. I never when I write them, I never really stop. It's always like here, 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 here. Everything's yeah, yeah, moving, yeah. moving towards the the end. Yeah. But like, because I want to, the end's the, the big fun bit. Like. Yeah, of course. Yeah, it's, it's the uh, can, it's the the crescendo, if you will. Yeah, it's kind of how I fucking. Bush enough, I've got the point I was trying to make here. Um, radio plays. Radio. Okay, yeah. So with us, it's always a fast story, hopefully a lot of laughs, and just insane. I try to get as many sounds in there as I can, just to literally make an audio. So we, we always talk about having like a narration. Like, yeah. We, at, you know, at fucking, at, Ar- at Arkham Asylum, at Grimwood Asylum, and I'm yeah, like, yeah, Stormy yeah. Night. But we did record it, but I just didn't like it, and it didn't sound right. Grimwood, present day. Brits and Dicker on the case of Ed's Bandit. Yeah, yeah, it just, it just didn't sound right. It would. It, it made... I mean, we had like we gave it like you know as as you said like Jack did the intro. Yeah, which uh, I for love. both of them and stuff, which is that uh, that's our kind of sort of. Whole, I love that intro because it is yeah. really like the whole kind of yeah, yeah, yeah. like sort of like music in the background and it's all just sort of done like in a in an old sort of twenty style. So um, there was a scene at the end which we deleted scene which we never recorded, but I actually deleted it from the script right at the end was when we go into the time vagina and we instantly appear in the 1800s. There was a scene in between us going in and coming out yeah. that literally was meant to cut back to the intro. The, in, meanwhile, in Grimwood, like, like Jack does, but different. And it wasn't going to mention Ritz and Dick. It was going to be like, it's the safest town in the world. Yeah, and yeah. it was going to talk about um, how you know the only issues it has is people not keeping up to the house standards you know someone had a plant pod they had authorization on the doorstep like it was, it was like a really mundane stuff because yeah, yeah, there was yeah. no crime and then it was going to open with like sea breeze married to mayonnaise and he was <laughs> they were like they were like the local sheriffs but everyone loved them fucking he sea breeze was best friends with max heights and fucking like it was going to be all the characters were there having really happy lives yeah, yeah. with Ritz and dick gone and never having existed because they've left like um and the idea was we would come back to a very different Greenwood. But I decided not to limit myself to that. There you go. Because I was like, if I do this, then we are definitely coming back to a different Greenwood. Maybe I'd, maybe our story doesn't permit that yet. We're no. not sure. So maybe I cut we don't the scene. Wanna, maybe we're not, we don't want to live that life. So I, cut, I, I deleted the scene and then it made fucking more sense. But it would be fun to have got Jack to say a yeah, different imagine beginning. That. Like, it would have been fun. Maybe another time. Um, it will need updating now we've closed the time for Jana again. So I'll go. probably have to get a different one done maybe for the 1800s. <laughs> like, yeah, absolutely. Like, what, what Yo, do? so Ritz and the dick. It would be like, it would have to be like fucking Pride and Prejudice at the beginning <laughs> or something. <laughs> do, 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 do. I look upon the garden. Our gaze. adventures begin in, <laughs> in the deepest darkness, Grimwood in 1882. <laughs> we join them at their breakfast buffet at the hotel they're staying in. <laughs> Hard times for Ritz and dick. Oh, but yeah, fucking... Mr. Darcy. <laughs> I so said that kind of brings us to the end. I know it's been a bit of a quieter, chilled out episode, but it's more of us just sitting down, having a bit of a fucking reflection on fucking 
finishing and acknowledging that we fucking have finished. I think this is the <laughs> first ourselves. time. I think this is the first time we've recorded, and I haven't had a drink. So that's, yeah, well, you know, we're, we've had a hundred and one episodes of that. Yeah, yeah. So yeah, I mean, yeah. that's fucking. Yeah, yeah, that gives morning, you an insight into morning, our lives. Chill out, fucking reflection episode. Yeah, no, I've enjoyed it, and uh, I uh, I hope I hope everyone has who has listened has enjoyed it as well. Now I do have a small selection of outtakes to uh, play us oh, out. Yes. Now, annoyingly, there would have been because time restraints of coming of editing. I don't have time to sit and go through it. Oh, it takes me so long to edit. So I was kind of like placing stuff as well as I went, which meant deleting stuff we didn't need. Yeah. So there wasn't actually very many outtakes. It wasn't like I recorded everything and did it all at the end. I was like cutting and placing it in along with the sounds as we went to make it easier to edit later on. And fuck it, so I could cut all the stuff we didn't really need. So there was only a f- not many outtakes. No. I kind of went through each scene and literally clicked on the fucking bar of our vocals and just dragged it out to see if the bit of the lead had anything. A couple of them did. But obviously Tom's, Tom and Ant sent us like a 20 minute outtake. Oh yeah. I'm not playing all of that, but I've cut it all together. So some outtakes from Time for Gina. Guys, fucking thanks for listening. This has been As a always. Really chilled out episode 101. But we'll be back with 102 being all bright and spunky. Let me quickly check a Tamagotchi. He's still asleep. Fucking lazy. Tom. Literally still asleep. That's all he does. It's a solid investment. Just asleep. It's an easy thing to look after in the world. Mm-hmm. All right, Tamagotchi, till next time. I've been Greg Tamagotchi. He's still asleep, I'm sure. Have you thought of a name for your uh, animal yet? Frank. Franklin. Franklin. Franklin Wood. Franklin Tamagotchi. <laughs> Franklin Tamagotchi, eh? Well, I have been Joe Dick Disturbance Jackson. Oh! Good night. Bye. <laughs> I can appreciate a curious mind, my friend, but in this case, you best start laying those thoughts to rest. Uh, would hate for you to end up on a rip ses- <laughs> Had no choice but to go private. No, private, 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 private. <laughs> private. <laughs> You're making a mistake. My boss will have your head on the fucking fuck. Synthetic estrogen and progesterone. What's that? Birth control. Oh, <laughs> oh shit. <laughs> Former mayor quenchers. Fucking hell, that <laughs> word, that name. This is tough. Former mayor quench thirsty's wife. But first, you goons can have your phone. Oh, fuck. Yeah, you said this would be. Oh no. <laughs> She goes by her maiden name now. Ah, here she comes now. <laughs> That'll do. Yeah, that's <laughs> sexual at the end. <laughs> right up on the mic. You can hear the moisture. Just another washed up alcoholic det- Say my name, bitch. No. Fucking. Ritz. Well, we hope you enjoyed it anyway. Yeah. And we hope there's something you can use. Fuck sifting through 20 minutes of crap. I, I really hope that you don't use the yokel ones. Yeah. He's going to stitch us up. No. Well. <clears throat> For this recording of <laughs> Terms and Conditions. <laughs> I have been Tom and playing I, Terms. And I've been Ant playing Conditions. Bye. Bye. <laughs> The All Seeing Guys podcast is part of Podnose, the UK's leading independent entertainment podcasting network. For episode archives of The All Seeing Guys and all of the shows on the network, visit us at www.podnose.com. You can also follow us on Twitter via @podnose or send us an email via admin@podnose.com. At